Welcome back to the Reckless Wrench Garage. In the last episode of this series, I cut off the external roll cage that I built several years ago, and I built some solid body mounts to get my truck ready for a full internal roll cage. On this episode, I'm going to be prepping the cab and starting to put together the roll cage. The roll cage is designed with a close and tight fit to the cab to provide more space and headroom. Because of this, some sheet metal inside the cab needs to be trimmed away. I used a grinder and cut away the excess metal along the sides, back, and front of the cab above the windshield. You also need to remove the roof support that is glued to the roof of the cab. So I got all the excess metal around the top of the cab stripped out. I might need to do a little bit more on the B pillar on the back. I'll just have to find out kind of once I start putting tubes in. Um, but before I do that, before I close off access to this roof, once you guys strip yours out, you'll notice it sounds like a tin can in here. And it's kind of annoying. So uh, what everyone I've seen online does is you get some of this um, sound and heat deadener. Uh, this is Dynamatic Stream that I'm using. I just got it off Amazon. There's tons of different brands and stuff that you can do this, but I've heard this is good stuff. And I'm just going to do the roof right now. I have enough to do the back and some of the sides and then the door panels. Um, but yeah, hopefully this stuff helps and is as good as everyone says. But uh, I'm just going to knock this out real quick while I have access before I start putting tubes in.
So I just put all this dynamat on the roof. It wasn't too bad. Uh, shoulders definitely got to work out doing the roller. Probably should have gone with a wider one. Um, but already I could tell a big difference. Um, slightly less tin candy, but mainly the roof isn't a giant gong anymore. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, so as I put tubes in, um, there's certain areas, especially the back wall, I'm going to put more dynamat and on the sides and in the door panels. Um, that should help a lot to take out that freaking tin can sound. But this is what all the cool people on Instagram and stuff do, so uh, I figured I'd give it a shot and see how it goes. The next step that I needed to do to get the cab prepped was to make the holes for the vertical pillars to pass through the floor. So, of course, it's time to slap on the biggest hole saw that I own and get out the old wrist breaker 9000. Damn, I hate hole saws. The cage that I am installing is a pre-bent and notch kit from TE Designs. The tubes are scribed for easy identification and assembly, and this kit fits together perfectly. If you are interested in a cage that will fit your cab like a glove, I could easily recommend this TE Designs cage. The only thing I had to do once I received the tubing is clean it and prep it for welding. My process for cleaning the tubes went like this. First, I wiped down the tube with acetone to clean any large amounts of oil and dirt from the cutting and shipping process. Next, I used a belt sander with an abrasive belt to clean the tubing ends, and I would use a Scotch-Brite pad to clean the rest of the tube. I would then use a flap wheel to put a slight bevel and clean up the notches just a little bit to allow good penetration and solid joints. My final step was to again wipe down the tube with a rag and acetone and get it ready to weld. Typically, if I was designing, cutting, bending, and notching a custom roll cage, this would take me at least a month of work to get this much tubing ready. Instead, I spent about a day cleaning and prepping all the tube, and now I just have to weld all this together like some Lincoln logs. Positioning the two lower tubes that are the foundation for the new cage was the most challenging part. I had to get another set of hands to help position the tube while I tacked it in place, and I ended up repositioning it a few times just to get it lined up perfect. One thing worth mentioning at this point is that I had to go back to all the holes in the floor that I drilled and I opened them up with a grinder and a sawzall. I did this because once the cage is built inside the truck, I need to be able to slide the cage forward a little and downward so I could get to the top of the tubes and completely weld everything. I made floor plates that cover these nasty holes so I can eventually weld these closed and have a sealed cab again.
If you have ever wondered how to remove your face with a cheap Chinese ratchet strap, let me be the shining example. Fortunately, I didn't die, and I only sustained minor damages to my ego. Let's laugh in my expense some more, and then continue building this cage. just got this back bar in, both of the sides with the A, B, and C pillars are in, and I'm getting ready to be able to start welding things in. There's just a couple tubes tacked right now, but at the very beginning, you want to just tack things as you go. You don't want to just start burning things in um, in case you need to adjust any tubes. Now, one thing I want to point out is, so this back tube right here has a weld right here, obviously, and then... Um, the tube that adjoins it has a little clearance for it and everything, but it fits on just like that. Now one thing I want to point out is that you never want to put these together and then just weld like this, because there will be a small piece of this uh, back tube that isn't going to get any weld in it. So what you want to focus on when you're doing this is get 360 welds um, so you have to kind of sometimes think about which tube goes first how you weld it and then put on the next tube after that so um, you know, just make sure you get 360 on these um, the roof tubes especially there's a lot of uh, junctions there and up in the corners so you want to make sure again don't cover an unwelded tube with another tube it's just not as strong and yeah get those 360 welds in there That's it for this episode of the Reckless French Garage. To see the next episode where I continue this cage build, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks to everyone that likes and comments on any of our videos, we really appreciate it. And until next time, stay reckless.